Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. So let's say you're working on this song and you know that there's going to be a lot of elements in there and um, you have the feeling that you're going to be sidechaining a lot of those elements and you're way too lazy to just create a, a compressor, get a red drum, program the pattern and um, have everything sidechained manually. Um, it has several uh, downsides. One being that it uses a lot of CPU power, the other being that you'd have to automate the patterns in order to um, control multiple red drums, and so on and so forth. So um, there's no real bussing in Reason, except if you split the signals or use submixers or something. And um, this is why I'm going to show you a way to work around this compression issue. The downside of this compression will be that we're going to be using the um, mixer master compressor, not the master compressor, but the mixer compressor, and uh, it only has a release time of 100 milliseconds, so anything below 100 milliseconds you're going to have to use the other compressor for. Alright, so um, I'm just going to give you guys a quick listen to this arrangement. Nothing special, really, really simple. Um, Thor 3, this chord kind of thing. It's already being sidechained by the uh, by the method I told you earlier. Compressor, red drum. And um, yeah, let's try to replace that with the new compression method. So I'm gonna delete the red drum, delete and delete the compressor, delete. So that leaves us with this. No compression whatsoever. Um, so I want to sidechain this uh, to the kick or the snare or whatever. So um, what I did here was I created a blank combinator. It's not connected. And uh, in there I created a red drum with just a single kick drum. And that's not connected either. Um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to get... Uh, a couple of spider mergers and splitters, so uh, three should be enough. I have a rack, like a preset, um, with like eight or seven splitters, something. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, take the stereo out from the red drum, connect it to the splitter, and then split that signal again, and split that signal again, and maybe grab two more splitters. And this one. Alright, so connect these and connect these. So we want to keep everything nice and tidy, so I'm going to call this ghost kick, because that's not going to be connected anyway, that's just going to be the compression signal. This is the, I'll call this distribution, because it distributes the signal. And I'm going to call this one one, one, two, three and four. Now the way this is going to work is uh, as follows. I've got the Thor here and um, you'll see on the uh, mixer device that it's got this dynamic sidechain input thing. This is what we're going to connect to the different uh, splitter signals. So first thing we're going to have to do though is right click the red drum and create a track for the ghost kick so we can put our MIDI signals there. Okay, so I'm just gonna, this is my kick drum here. Hold on, let me unsolo this. No, that's, those are the hi-hats. This is my kick drum. This is my snare drum. So let's say I wanna, um, I wanna sidechain the kick, or sidechain using the kick signal. Then I'll just copy the MIDI, MIDI signals over here. And um, just out of convenience, when I layer stuff, uh, I always start with the lowest note. And in this case, the lowest note will also trigger this ghost kick, so I don't have to do any MIDI editing. Okay, so now this ghost kick is being triggered every time this regular kick is being triggered, as you can see here. Okay, now all we have to do is go to the Thor and connect the dynamics, and this is why we named them. Actually, before we connect them, let me just rename this combinator. maybe all right so um, connect the dynamics by right-clicking to the sidechain or 
and uh, then this is the distribution one so these are already taken but on slots one two three and four those are all um, outputs for these uh, sidechain signals so I'm just going to connect this to um, splitter one okay so now the store unit is going to be compressed and um, the compression is going to trigger every time this connected ghost kick triggers so if I turn the compressor on here you can see there's being uh, there's a signal being generated every time this kick hits and this is just really convenient once you get to adding um, a lot of more signals actually just let me tweak that a bit Uh, once you start adding more signals and stuff, um, this is going to be real convenient because now you can just right click, create an instrument, and then once you're done tweaking the instrument to your liking, you can just open this device up, the mix device, turn it around, right click, and connect it, and it's instantly being sidechained. And you don't have to do all this stupid uh, compressor. Um, red drum program a shitty ass long pattern and everything so yeah that's just something i built and uh you can also save this um combinator as as a patch and then use it in your pro in your um productions and it's really easy to load up as i said the only downside is that you're gonna have to use this compressor and um it's only got release uh, times of more than 100 milliseconds so if you're into the really really short compression you are gonna have to use the other method which is actually just as simple um, you can just right click create a compressor after the signal and then right click and connect the side chain to the side chain or so um, of course this will result to your compressor sitting in the rack instead of at the mixer but yeah so yeah this is my um, super lead uh, compression technique. I hope you learned something today. And as always, I'm looking forward to reading your comments.